All right, welcome to another math lesson. This is for the grade sevens. Uh, this should be a review. We've added decimals, we've subtracted decimals, and we're going to review that quick, but we're going to do it with symbols or numbers. Uh, in the past, we've used number lines, we've used fraction strips, and we're going to add that together, and we're going to show you just how we do it with the numbers. So first, I'm going to start with an easy one. If I have a half plus a quarter, well, a half plus a quarter is actually pretty easy because if I add half plus a quarter, you know what I could do is instead of a half, I could call it two quarters because two goes into four. So I could say, well, that equals three quarters, and that's easy for me to see. Instead of a half, I could say, well, instead of half, it's two quarters. Two quarters plus one quarter is one, two, three quarters. But it's not always so easy. What if I have a third in there, like this? This is one half plus one third. A third is kind of hard to figure out on this number line. Like I've got my halves, quarters, and eighths, but I'm not sure exactly where to place that third. And I can see it goes to here, but I'm not exactly sure where here is. So how do I do it? Oops, I said one half plus a third, and I didn't change that back. There we go. So we've got half plus a third. Well, what I can do is I can convert them so that the bottom is the same. Because I know that when I add fractions, I add only the top and leave the bottom the same. But if I add up only the top, well, do I use the two or the three? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a common multiple. A common multiple of two and three. So the multiples of two, there. Multiples of three, here. And I can see I have a common multiple. Six is happening for both of them. Well, I know that three times two is six, and two times three is six, and I have to do the same to the top and the bottom. Two times three is six, one times three is three, plus one times two is two, three times two is six. Now that they're the same on the bottom, that the denominators are the same. I know that I can add them together in the classic way that I know to do. Add those together, I have five over six. Now let's take a look using our fraction strips here. Three sixths is equal to one half. Let's see if that's true. Three over six, and two sixths is equal to a third. So our answer is one, two, three, four, five, Sixth. Now, don't forget, Johnny makes this mistake often. He goes, 3 and 2 is 5, and 6 and 6 is 12. But then I say to Johnny, well, yeah, but Johnny, here's 5 twelfths. Is 5 twelfths equal to 1 half plus 1 third? At which point he goes, well, no. But then I could show him, well, our 5 sixths, and he goes, yes. Can you please close the door after coming in? So here we have... The six stays the same, the top gets added, five over six. But let's reverse this. What if I am subtracting? Subtraction is the inverse of addition. So what if I had one half minus one third? That would be like this, one half minus one third. We want to find out what is in that space. So I've got this much minus this much. How much do I have left? So let's take a look. Same way, find a common multiple. I see that a common multiple is six times three times three times two times two. I now have three over six again, minus two over six. So let's take a look at that here. I have three-sixths minus two-sixths, that is what we are left with. Three minus two is one, six remains, one-sixth. Let's see if it fits. Sure enough, 